Hey everybody, today I'm doing a video on how to prepare a file that you've maybe purchased from someone uh, and prepare that so you can have an amazing white toner print and nobody's going to complain about the rasterizing. So let's get started. Basically what we're going to do is take this image here and rasterize, you know, give us some partial transparency for the big block areas like the white and the blue. Everything else we're going to leave solid. So let's first start by duplicating our original layer and I'm going to call that transparent. That way I can keep track of what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and turn the original layer off and I'm going to, this was a smart object and you can tell by this little square thing down here. And in order to do this quick way, I'm going to rasterize this layer so we can move pieces of it to new layers. So let's duplicate this one more time and this will be our opaque layer. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and then we'll start on our transparent layer. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of all the black. Um, and I'm going to first let me go ahead and move that to 85% transparent. So that way when we do our lines we'll have some transparency on this bottom layer. So I'm going to start a layer mask and that you can find down here. It's like the paper with a circle. And making sure you stay on your layer mask. Let's get rid of the black. So I'm just going to go ahead and click in the area that has the most black and we're going to fill that with black. So we're going to go up here to edit, fill, and then we'll fill it with black. But if you notice there is a shortcut for this function shift F5 and going forward in this video that's what I'm going to use. If yours doesn't say black just click on that down arrow button and it'll be black and that's what we're going to be using for the remainder of this video. So now I'm going to control or command D depending on if you have a Mac or a, a PC and now all of our black is gone. You can see here the sunflower seeds have all the black gone. So uh, we're also, sorry let me get rid of that, we're also going to get rid of this red up here because we don't want that to be partially transparent so I'm just going to get rid of it. But we do want the blue to be transparent so I just want to go right up to that line Shift F5, fill with black, and now our transparent section is ready to go. So we can move on to this section up here. Now again, you want to make sure you have a rasterized layer because what we're going to do is take these text areas and put them onto new layers. So we're going to use our magic wand tool, and shortcut is W. And basically the magic wand tool takes anything that is the same color that you select and makes a selection for you. So here we are, I've selected the red and we're going to use shift command on a Mac and control on a PC, J. And what that does is it's going to take all of the red that we selected, we get rid of the transparency layer, and it moves it to a new layer while deleting it from the previous layer. Okay, so we wanted to get rid of that red. <clears throat> and now let's get rid of the blue. So we want to keep our blue text opaque. So we're going to click on that again and we're going to click blue, the blue, and we're going to shift command or control J and that's going to put it on a new layer and then we're going to do the same thing for the white shift command J and that basically just jumps everything to a new layer I think oh you know what I did not have that layer selected so let me go back on that layer so this is what we have left on this layer so we're going to take the white again, select it with our magic wand tool, 
shift command J that puts it on an entirely new layer and now this is what we have left that's solid now if you click on this red you'll see that we're missing on this red layer we're missing the the lines here so let's go ahead and grab those before we move on make sure it's selected and I'm going to select that shift command J all right perfect so now let's work on these color layers so our red layer let me pull this up so here's our red layer and basically I'm gonna just group these together I'm gonna merge this down and I'm gonna call it red so I don't get myself confused so just double click on it make it red so red is done now let's work on the blue so the blue the only thing that we want solid is baseball and the ampersand so let's go ahead and set about deleting all that so I'm gonna create a layer mask paper with the circle down here and I'm going to use for now I'm going to use the rectangle marquee tool because it's easy and I'm just gonna select that blue and I'm gonna shift F5 and fill it with black so now baseball is still around and I'm gonna get rid of the rest of this stuff and I'm not messing with the ampersand yet let's make sure we get all that shift F5 fill with black and command or control D to deselect and now I'm gonna just grab my brush tool I'm gonna get a bigger brush make it a little bit bigger than that that should be good <clears throat> and I'm gonna paint on our layer with black so we're just gonna get rid of all this get all that gone and then I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller by using my bracket key and I'm just going to get rid of that extra blue okay so now our red layer and our blue layer is opaque just like we want so now let's move on to our white layer and the white layer we really just want to get rid of this big white box here so let's grab our rectangular marquee tool again let's go on our white layer create a layer mask again the paper with the circle grab our rectangle marquee tool I do want to leave this Sun section up here opaque so we're gonna just kind of click here and I am also gonna keep that ampersand so I'm just gonna use my arrow keys and bring it down and then shift F5 fill with black uh, control D on a PC command D on a Mac to get rid of the uh, box I'm gonna grab my brush tool and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger using the arrow buttons and I'm just gonna get rid of let me make it a little bit smaller get rid of this section here getting closer and this is the most tedious part and if you make a mistake like let's say I did that you can either command Z or control Z to go to undo that or you can just paint it back over with white which I just made a little bit of a mistake so I'm just gonna come over here to this area on the left and make sure white is my foreground and I'm just gonna paint in that little teeny section back so I have a complete circle all right so now my white area is also opaque so let's see what our progress is if you fit on screen so we have our red our blue and our white that we want to remain opaque and so now we need to see what we're going to do here with this 
opaque piece. So let's go ahead and really we just want to get rid of this red and then our opaque piece will be perfect. So let's turn all this off and this is where we are left. I don't want any of this red so I'm going to come back over to my magic wand tool and I'm going to click on that red and I'm just going to whoops let's get ourselves a layer mask so again the paper with the square down here at the bottom and we're going to click on the red and we're going to shift F5 and fill it with black command D to deselect so now we have our sun because that's got a little if you see here it's got some gradient in it and we want to keep that you know as keep that gradient as much as we can so I'm gonna go back to fit screen so now we have our opaque our white our blue and our red so all of that will be opaque and will not be rasterized however if you notice our sunflower seeds are also opaque so we want to get rid of the black again just like we did on that transparent layer so I'm just going to click in that section make sure I'm on the layer mask and then shift F5 fill with black and I just command D to get rid of it and then we'll click on our transparent layer and so now you'll see let me get rid of this let me unclick this black so now you can see that the blue and the white has the checkerboard which means there is some transparency so this file is now ready to export to ProRip so what we're going to do is we're going to merge visible layers and now we have and we want to export this as a PNG file which is critical because if you export it as anything else it's not going to keep that partial transparency so quick export as PNG file I've already done that and then we're going to hop over into ProRip and go ahead and continue that there Okay, so here we are in ProRip. I have set up my queue. I'm using Color Boost. Please check out Joe's video last week on Color Boost. It is really important uh, for partial transparency to keep the saturation of the colors. So now let's bring in our artwork. And I'm just going to click on it, get my sizing correct. I'm using A4. So there we are. I'm going to go to color adjust. I'm going to bring my blacks, make those darker. Bring my saturation to four. And I'm going to leave everything else the same. Ink removal needs to be kept checked. 255, just leave the default settings here. Very important for partial transparency. So we're going to hit OK. Then we're going to double click on our image, color layer, ink removal. And I'm going to use 28 frequency, which is really lines per inch. And I'm going to use a angle of 67.5, sorry. Change it to lines. Again, we're going to leave these settings as the default. Hit OK. And now I'm going to right click so we can view it and make sure it did what we want. Rip only. Let it do its thing. and then view raw data and there you go so you can see we have lines where we want lines and no lines where we don't and so here's a good way to make sure that your white is rasterized so i'm just going to click on this view all colors as black and you can see that our white is also rasterized so now all we need to do is hit print hope you enjoyed this video and hit me up with any questions in the comment section.